They were about 2,000 yen, and it feels right to me. The karma of the earth is not exceptional. Karma exists due to the actions we made in our past lives, right? Which are heavy frequencies. Such heavy frequencies could be originated from the lives in our cosmic era. There are many people who want to discharge them together with the earth's ascension. This time, oh no, are you okay? Then what should we do with the karma game? We can just understand it as, okay, this is just one of our karma game. We've given a great deal of reading of it until now. Some people seem to be almost naked in the air. It's free. Naked and strings and string pants. Okay. Let's start. Star Sea Channel. This show is hosted by Yoshi and Akiko. Hello. What was that? No, in India. I was going to say in India with the title call, but you didn't tell me that. Now I'm kind of embarrassed. Is any, saying India sounds a little uncool? Should we do it again? No, no, we're fine. Let's get started. Anyway, shall we explain why we're in India to start with? Training camp of Star City Online Salon is taking place now in India. I am here as one of the participants. Are there about 50 people? 55? Yeah. So they are here in this Henkyo town. Is it correct to say Henkyo town? What is that? It means very remote place. Oh, like Hikyo, hidden place. Yes, you can call this place that way. Okay, so we have had many things to be aware of. Our biggest one was well, our past lives and also our karma. So we are going to talk about past lives and karma as today's topic. Okay, how about your past lives, Akiko? Do you know anything about your past lives? I have a lot of past lives in which I was a monk. I went back and forth between the lives as a monk and fairly wealthy family. I don't think I had many lives in which I was very poor, right? For a cosmic perspective, experiencing a wealthy life means having such vibrations and it seems difficult to suddenly move to a poor life from such a vibration. I think this is my pattern of going back and forth between those lives. Is that right? Now you mentioned your past lives. I've given a try to see my past lives in the camp, finding out my past lives. Anyone can actually do that, I guess. Yes, that's right. Some images will pop up with the feeling of inspiration. We usually have more than one life. So it means people watching this video can try visualizing, wondering what your past lives are like. Or go to a place like here. For example, when we visit certain places such as India or Hawaii. And if we try to visualize there, we may have some images of our past lives, right? Yes, you may have flash of, of an image with the feeling, I may have been here before. You might have a sense of knownness of the place. You might suddenly visualize something. It could be a different experience each time, I think. Also, I don't think we go to a particular place unless we've been there before in our past lives. I see because we have a con connection there, right? Yes, that's how I understand it. Well, in that case, how about these? Well, those clothes I'm wearing today, which, uh, which was about 2,000 yen, feels right to me to wear. It looks like one of your everyday wear. I feel you have many past lives, which was you were king. I bought this hat too for some reason. I'm not sure if this hat was included in these clothes. Anyway, since I have this here, I'll put it on. Well, is this the right way? Am I wearing it properly? Yes, I guess. I think, yeah, that's fine. When I put this on, I feel feel surprisingly comfortable, unexpectedly. You look great. This feeling is probably, is, it's just my imagination though. It's coming from my past lives that I have experienced. Yes, you're right. That's why you feel comfortable. 
Also, the members here had an opportunity to wear saris. They looked so wonderful in saris. It suited them, so our energy seemed suddenly expanded. And how can I put it? They must have experiences of wearing saris as a princess or a queen in their past lives. People who are attracted to spirituality can suddenly drop their frequencies. So they have, they need to take the life of a wealthy girl or princess for an adjustment. They might think, oh, that can't be my case. Well, that can be. It was noticeable in this camp, such as their facial expressions. I felt as though energies revived from their past lives and each of them looked a different person. I was going to ask, who are you? Well, somebody actually did. Uh, many of them were releasing feminine energies. Their energy naturally overflowed and the members looked imposing in their saris. They looked fantastic. Their energy must have been from their past lives, which filled the space then. When I did the work to see my past lives, then I saw an image. It was in India and I was a monk a monk in his apprenticeship. Uh, we might have done it together. Probably, yes. What I saw was a rugged place. I was practicing in a mountain. What kind of monk were you, Akiko? Um, let me see. I spent a lot of time alone, but we might have practiced together. I also spent most of my time alone in a rocky place. Is it Everest? Oh, no, that was Himalaya. It, was, it wasn't Everest. I think I was around the Himalayas. My place was quite rocky anyway. Yeah, I see. Though I have been in the southern region in India. Lived mainly in the Himalayas as a monk. I kept practicing in sol solitude for a long time. And sometimes I shared things like maybe sharing knowledge. How was it? How did you like it? I have a good feeling about it. Well, I seemed that I was fulfilled in that life and I was seeking and wanted to find out the truth all the time in my life because I was a monk. You are like that in current life. Yes, I like that. So how did you look like? Oh, my parents, I don't know actually because I saw it through my eyes. I forgot to see myself. Well, I wonder how I look like. I guess I was a lot thinner then than I am now. Right. If you were satisfied there, you were happy, probably happy then. I guess I was a happy monk. Yes, right. That's good. Some people find it difficult to encounter their memories or feelings from their past lives. In the training, there seemed various past lives drawn out from the members. It was like watching a wave of big phenomena. Can we share some of the cases? Mm, what was remarkable was many people burst into tears. I felt that purification was happening. So the karma of the earth is not exceptional. Karma exists due to the actions we made in our past lives, right? Which are heavy frequencies. Such frequencies could be originated from the lives in our cosmic era. There are many people who want to discharge them together with the Earth's ascension this time. Oh no, are you okay? That was a flash of a moment. Are you okay? Maybe okay. Well, in India people look very relaxed. Some people seem to be almost naked and strings and shall we call it side string beginning? The undergarment is coming out quite naturally. It could be the latest fashion. But anyway, we didn't see anything. Don't worry about it. So it was possible some karma was created in the cosmic era, right? Karma created in the cosmic era, yes. In short, the strong beliefs, emotions, etc. we had could have remained unhealed as heavy frequencies. Even in India, I think there are such frequencies. The moment it is easy for that to come upon the surface. The members seriously determined to be here to release them. I have started to convince by the training. India is a place strongly supporting us to release them. One of the proof was the, their tears and they were coming out after another. Also, there have been 
many unexpected things. That's right. I was busy moving around until a few minutes ago, which is one of my karma and people around me at the same time. I have been doing many works of subconscious rewriting, which I feel include in clearing karma, not only for myself, but also for everyone. There were very large vortex here. I see. Immediately after we arrived at the airport, India, I kept myself unnoticed, which is my habitual behavior. Yes. The reason why I do that is I kind of feel I want to be alone when I'm in a group. As I have some fear deep within when I meet someone for the first time. Well, oh yes, people here are so carefree. So how do I interact with people? <laughs> is that all right? No, don't come here. Naked children approaching. Please don't come here closer. Please stay away. It's probably okay. Don't worry. Keep covering, keep covering, off you go. Okay, they're, they're gone. Phew. So going back to what I was saying, I guess karma includes feelings such as fear. I still have moments to feel some fear when I meet someone for the first time, some extent, then I tend to hide my uh, presence. So it's still one of my habits and maybe which is part of my karma. But during this visit, that part has been eased a lot, I guess. So it is a training camp in which we gather in one place and do some work or recreations together as a group. But all the members have been doing as they wish independently. Each member has spent their own time individually and freely as they like. It was very interesting to see and I like it very much. Sassy people are not good at performing in a group. It is one of their common characteristics. See, I don't like it either since I was a monk. I often slip out of the flock and go somewhere. This time, each one enjoyed their freedom while spending time together. It was easy. It seems some people released unwanted energy at the camp. At first, I was a little worried. I also wondered if they were okay. <laughs> there was a person who was gone to the different place and after arriving at the airport. Was the person okay? That was unconventional. That was an example of getting out of the limitation that the person had. Well, the person on the way here originally planned to come here from the airport. When arriving at the airport, the person was called to the Shiva temple in southern India. She was guided. So the person was just gone instead of coming here. It was a well experience. It was something we see. We don't see everyday life. It was impressive though as the person lis listened to their inner voice and taken action. One of the members was crying so loudly during one of the, our, our work. She recalled her past life memories in India. She had a role in activities like the women's liberation movement. Although she did her best, she couldn't achieve it in her past life. So her intense a sense of guilt overflowed all at once. It was coming from her sense of responsibility. So it was not about her karma in the current life, but one, her, one of her past lives. It can be said that we exist in parallel. So she's in her current life, healed one of her parallel lives. I was surprised to see someone who actually did it. At first, it made me feel, excuse me, please tell me why you're crying. But now I know why. It was in interesting. I had a healing session over there some minutes ago. Some members are healers. I felt that the person giving me the healing also went into her inner self and cleared her karma I needed to deal with at the same time. I see many people might have a negative image when they hear the word karma. How should we address it? Karma is the actions we made in the past, right? It's called go in Japanese. Everything you do will be returned to you later. Well, it's the same as the law of the universe, reap what you sow. But from the cosmic perspective, we can go beyond our karma. We don't have to worry about it. It's like, it's like an attraction game with the karma setting. Yes, in India, karma is often represented as actions. Certainly, some people might not have a good feeling by he hearing the word karma. 
Many years ago, I used to be very sensitive to the idea of karma. One of the reasons was that I grew up in a Buddhist family. I was seized by that idea. For example, I always believed I had to do something good. That led me to aggressively limit myself in the end. But as the belief became stronger and accumulated, things turned into negative karma. Regarding that part, I dealt with it and left it behind now. Oh, that's great. Having said that, well, it's not a matter for us to judge what is good karma or bad karma. That's not the point, is it? Yes, I understand. We can proceed beyond that point of worrying about karma. The energy around us is becoming that of the universe. Rather than paying attention to issues you may hold, it would be better to acknowledge them and release white energy as purification. The next part you should focus on is something you, you can enjoy or something that you make, me, make you happy. You can think about the universe or directly by direct your attention to something positive. It's up to you to direct your consciousness to wherever, but if there is an opportunity to do using your consciousness, then you can choose a way that is beneficial for you. I've been removing my limitations, blockage, fixed ideas and so on. It's been enjoyable to see myself returning to the original neutral self by doing so. So lately, even if my karma emerges, I don't take it as bad. Rather, I enjoy, ooh, karma is coming out, not smashing. We in the present life are greatly influenced by our parents, the environment, or behavior patterns, etc. Right? If we cost if we construe karma as the belief associated with such events, then we should purge them as many as possible. But I also learned from that camp, karma includes much more. As I witnessed, there are various people here whose karma was coming from their past lives to be purged. The point is, the thing are heavy frequencies. We can say, congratulations when it comes out. Yes, we can say it, well done. It's better to release whenever possible. Once I have afraid of karma, I know it's something good to come up. You can also use your awareness. If you are aware of something needed to see, it will be released. You may notice it's a blockage. Sometimes it is enough to only notice it. Honestly, the me members released a lot. It was literally a lot. But they have changed. Not only the facial expressions changed, but the, the energies have shifted. Our energies mixed together into the wonderful en energy. It seems that we were supplementing each other. I think I said this in the last video, that my parents had appeared in the dream. Looking at the, them, I realized, oh, they were actually myself. After that, I woke up while I was aware of it. And some of the members in the camp t talked about similar stories as well. They were also aware of the people in their dreams with themselves too. That's interesting. Why? What do you think of that? What made you be aware of? Some one said that while we were around the campfire and there are fewer men in this camp and they also mentioned something similar. I wonder what that means. So they noticed the people in their dreams were themselves. Many of them said they had a moment to notice. Let me put this uh, this way this. Some information needed has been re revealed or oh, understand some synchronicities happened. Yes, it must be synchronicities. In this camp, everyone was allocated to a twin room, right? And they said, oh, it was, a, it was like a storm of synchronicities. It was awesome. I'm from Adachiku, Tokyo. One of the members of the camp used to live just around the corner of my previous house. The person just appeared in front of me. That was a synchronicity. It was a per s surprise. Was there anything else? Yes, at the airport, while I was lining up for the immigration, I had a chance to talk to the person before me, discover the person had very rare experience as I had. Someone in front of you? Mm -hmm. We had a lot of them. In a place where many tables are, there was a painter seated at the table and there was another painter in front of him also seated just 
spaces that way. It was surprising too. What I get receptive to such ideas, it will happen to us even in Japan or wherever the viewers from the videos are. I can, it can happen to anyone. That's right. Having said that, usually we have a concept of boundaries, separation or fragmentation in this 3D world like me and you. But there is sometimes a glimpse of the feeling of clear connectedness. Yes, I agree, it's actually fun to see. At that time, the energy is wonderfully shifts and also in resonance. On top of that, then things are going well, many synchronicities will be brought. In that case, if we take a direction which is not meant for us, then what happens? We will have fewer synchronicities? We might miss the synchronicities that is happening in front of you, as your vibration is probably not in balance. In the other word, you can notice many, you can't notice many things. When you notice these things, the vibration and the energies are nicely aligned, it is getting closer to the energies in the higher dimensions. They must be full of synchronicities in the higher realms. When we are on the track, things are really fast. It's been so slow on the earth, so we got into surprising dramas. How could this happen every single day? We completely believed we can't control anything that doesn't apply to the universe. Things around us may uh, move much faster. Are we okay with the speed? Then we should no longer be surprised by synchronicities. We can say, oh, okay, it is, it is here again. Thanks for visiting me again and let it flow. And we should notice this the flow in front of us. Just acknowledge it. Today's the flow is excellent too. Then go along with it. Let me see if there is anything else. Going back to the karma, in addition to that, the past and the future and past lives, we talk about that time is basically an illusion, right? Then how do we understand our past lives? First of all, it is one of many parallel worlds of dimensions we have. We exist in multiple parallel worlds, including past lives, at the same time. It is the energy, so to speak, which is the part of we call past lives. Seen from the present standpoint, we have carried over those energies from our past lives by knowing our past lives. We can learn we are a very expansive being and we are more than that exists in our current lives. It is a sort of awareness. <coughs> we have many lives, not only in the Earth era, but also in the cosmic era. We have experienced reincarnations hundreds of times. I think that makes it interesting. Regarding karma that plan planets have, can I expand the topic a little? Our online salon has a concept about starseed people. Many members have all know or believe they are related to various stars or planets. And well, as for me, I am often said to be related to Zeta Reticuli, the Zeta species had highly advanced technology, but they fled underground on the verge of destroying their civilization by their own nuclear technology. And there is a theory that their eyes evolved largely to absorb light. Well, you know a lot. Mm -hmm. By using that energy, it is sometimes useful to some extent when constructing something lo logically. Well, anyway, I have heard that there are many people who reincarnated by choosing Japan in particular. Yes, okay. It might be because of the nuclear issues and radioactivity issues. Such people want to experience those issues in Japan as their karma. So they can release, they can release the energies. That is the theory. Some people are releasing a karma carried over from the cosmic era. They might not believe that they have something to do with releasing, but if they live every day to the fullest, which 
the selves in the past lives might have entrusted them the current lives, greatly expect, expecting them to release the karma. Some of them may have a tough life, of course, they are different, depends on the soul. Anyway, we exist how now because of what we existed in the past. So, what shall we do with this message from the universe today? About past lives or karma? Did you receive the message for the viewers? Yes, please, karma. Karma is already an old concept. The message is very direct. They emphasize that karma has been one of the re recreation of the earth, which was quite an intense one. But today's energies exceed them. So if you still embrace such the concept, you can unload it from now on. And limitation, karma is like limitation. A limitation in which you believe that you are a, a, this type of person. The frequency you have is that band. Things you process are like these. We have been prone to apply limitation to anything, but it was ourselves who created all the limitations. It is like a planet or one event. Everything in a tiny event in the universe, so instead of putting weight on it, release what doesn't serve you anymore to liberate yourself. Avoid focusing on your karma anymore. Go along with the flow to become lighter and lighter. It is very important for you to let yourself flow. Also, religion, religion regarding it, there are various karmas associated with it. That is, it has been done by those who want to experience that type of karma, its type of activity played by those who wanted to participate in it. They are also saying whatever you choose or you want to do is completely up to you. The universe enjoys watching us. What? Does the universe enjoy watching us? Well, of course, we can have some fun too. They say we watch your recreations. Well, they meant we enjoy your lives together with you. Well, all of our experiences are what we chose. It's a karma play, karma game. It's a divine and grand play. It is seriously enjoyable. Then what can we do with the karma game? Now that we have some knowledge about it, we can treat it as okay, it's just a game, can we? No need to find out any meaning in it. We have given a great deal of meaning to it up to recently, making ourselves hurt and exhausted some scriptures teach. This karma is this and that, so you have to do this and that. People have learned some seriously. We probably did it very much. We played it very hard. <laughs> Too much of it. We enjoyed the experiences anyway. Maybe that play was not so easy to experience because it was rare. It was. I'm guessing that play was like one of the popular attractions of the amusement park. Tickets were so difficult to come by unless waiting in a long queue. The ride and the karma attraction. When we have gone back to the universe, we might look back and say, oh, what an exciting game that was. I can see we're laughing. Whether it's fun, happy, sad, angry, painful, everything we experience is just an enjoyable play seen from the universe. Today's topic was good. It was fulfilling. Karma and past lives. Very good. I wonder if India has strong vortexes of energies. It seems that they triggered some memories and energies of the members' past lives to draw out easily. It's the right time now, so it might be easier for such energies to come out. And some people say, I'm called India. What is that? Does India call people? That is the person is strongly attracted to coming to India because there is a meaning to it. It's a feeling that only the person knows. People who don't need to come will never come here. It is a connection that the person has. The difference is clear. 
Because some people have no interest in India at all. A person with a connection to India would have done a lot of things in this place, such as an activity connected with the universe, because it feels India has had a strong connection with the universe. I felt that way when visiting the nearby temple or and ruins. Surely it was a place connected to the universe. India seems to be popular with extra terrestrials. In India, spiritual freedom is often found in various situations. Do a cosmic travel guidebook or some brochure says India is a good place because I feel freedom in various things. There are many religions here. Of course, there are various issues, but they are basically accepted. You can see the diversity here, and there are many languages in this country. All of these languages are printed in Indian paper currencies. There are about 20 of them. Yes, there are many, and India is re receptive to many people. People in this country live their lives every day based on an invisible world, including karma in India. Oh, I have seen a yogi person every morning. Who is he? Oh, he's Baba. Baba has gone somewhere now. I was planning Baba to appear in this video with the beard. He's like a hermit, having a flower here. It's amazing to see such a world still exist here now. It is a daily event here. They value it. It has been integrated into everyday life. That is the most important thing for them. Things like this probably lasted for thousands and billions of years. Billions sound too far back, but I think it has been unchanged for thousands of years. That's amazing, absolutely. Let's send the energy from India to the viewers of this video with our unique farewell greeting. Dewa Dewa. Shall we say Namaste today? Namaste sounds good. Okay. Uh, can we do Dewa Dewa too? Dewa Dewa Namaste. Is there such a version? Namaste. Let's try to push the limit this time. Try like this. Namaste. Oh, I'm going to follow you. I've never done it though. Thank you for watching our video today. Deva Deva. Namaste.